Hellos! Today's video is going to be my Disney don'ts. This is basically going to cover just some things not to do in the park, whether you're a first time goer, you've been there quite a few times before. To be honest, it's basically just going to be a list of things that really f me off in the parks. Don't buy pins from eBay, just don't do it. A lot of money saving websites recommend that you just buy the $1 pins from eBay. Just, just know it, they'll be fake and you're just screwing up the pin market for everyone. I know you think it's saving you money but at the end of the day someone might trade a pin or some little kid might trade a pin and it's fake, it's not the best quality or they're not as good quality as the official Disney pins and just don't do it, seriously. Don't push your kids in front of people. I don't care if you've got a kid and there's an adult standing in front of them, just don't push them in front or assume that it's okay to go in front. Adults love Disney just as much as children and it really pees me off when I'll be standing there having waited an hour for a parade and then someone comes and pushes their kid in front of you. Just ask. Seriously, it's not a problem if someone asks or a lot of the time I will just, if I see a little kid behind me, I'll just bring them to the front and I'll say, do you want to come stand in front of me? Because I can see perfectly over. Just don't be rude and don't just push your kids in front of people. Don't think that your kids have priority over any adults in the park. Disney is for adults and children alike. So just don't do it. Don't be rude to cast members. Just don't. Like, especially during parade and wishes time in Magic Kingdom, it gets really, really busy. And if a cast member tells you to move on that you can't stand there, don't get annoyed at them. It's happened to me so many times where guests have started to get really annoyed at me for saying, you know, you can't stand here, it's safety, it's not safe. Cast members have your safety at the top of their list. Like, if it's dangerous, if something happens to you, then how do you think they're going to feel for not telling you to move out of the way? So, you know, I know there's, it's very cramped around wishes time. I know it's really cramped around the parade time, but get there earlier. You know, it's common sense. Just, it's your own fault for not getting there early. Go to the parades early. You know, go to get a nice viewing spot for wishes early. And you can't really shout at the cast members or get pissed off at them for telling you to move along because it's unsafe. You've got to have escape routes in case something happens. You know, just... I know it can get frustrating being in a big crowd and wanting to get to see and wanting to get your kids a nice spot. But just don't. That brings me on to my next one. Is don't put your kids on your shoulders. Just think about the people behind you. You know, if you're waiting for the fireworks, just think about those who are all standing behind you. I know that your kid's little, so just hold them so they're head length with you. You know, hold them on your hip or cradle them in your arms. But don't have them right up there on top of your head so people behind you can't see. Because it's just rude. Be courteous to other guests. Put your trash in the bin. Put your rubbish in the bin. Don't leave rubbish all around the park. It's just not nice. Just there's bins within every few steps. There's bins everywhere you look in Disney. And it's just courteous, not only to other guests, but to cast members. And it just keeps the place looking nice. Don't save a place in line for Tom, Dick, Harry, your mum, your dad, grandma, grandpa, kid one, kid two, kid, kid three, kid four. Just if you're saving a place in a line, just don't save it for a mass of people. There's nothing worse than you know, get into the front of a queue with just one person in front of you. The next minute about 20 people get into the line. It's just rude to the other guests really. Like it's not a problem saving a space in line for a few people. So say if you know, mum saves a space for the two kids who are, and the dad who are getting really agitated and don't want to stand in the queue for ages. That's absolutely fine. You know, just don't bring in about 20 people in the queue at once or don't have just one person saving a space for 20 people. Well, that's just really annoying. <laughs> don't take flash pictures on rides. It's the signs everywhere saying don't do flash photography and it just ruins other people's experience of the ride. Again, be courteous towards the other guests. Also, it'll just wash out your picture anyway so it won't look any good don't use bad language. That's just common sense really. You're in Disney, there's a park full of kids, don't go around effing and blinding, don't use bad language because there is kids everywhere and you never know who's listening or what someone's kid could pick up. So just don't do it, you don't need to swear in a Disney park. Just don't feel guilty for not seeing everything. You know, Walt Disney World is massive, you're not going to see everything in just one trip. And you know, but it's okay not seeing everything. Like I've not even seen half of what's there and I've been there like 13 weeks collectively altogether. So, you know, just don't feel guilty about it. Just truck along, just do what you enjoy, see the main things. Or if you're going back for a second trip, do things that you've not done before. So do things you wouldn't normally go to, do things you wouldn't normally see. Which leads me on to my last point is don't forget to take a break. Like, you're going to need it. Being in a, Disney, a busy Disney theme park, you'll need to have a break. Whether it's just sitting down watching a show, going for your dinner, going for a nap back at the hotel. 
if you don't take a break you're going to start to get agitated you're going to start to get a bit annoyed you'll get tired you know it'll be hot if you've got kids you'll have screaming kids that want to have a break and then you start to get a little bit angry i know how it feels you know, to get a little bit angry in the parks so where you started to get a little bit stressed out a little bit angry you start to kind of stomp around like ah you know i know how it feels you've just got to slow down think to yourself just take a break you know, as i said before don't feel guilty about not seeing something it's probably better if you sit down, take a little break, and miss out on one little ride and then enjoy the rest of your day other than feeling grumpy for the rest of your day and not enjoying you know, your whole trip. So just take a break. You will need it. Especially if you go for two weeks as well. You can even you know, just take a day where you just chill out by the pool, do a bit of shopping in Orlando, but you don't have to go with all the stress and hustle and bustle of a park. Especially in peak times as well. It can get really, really busy. It's really hot. In the middle of summer, it's absolutely boiling you're getting stressed out there's queues for everything just take a break just chill out wander around the shop sit down people watch one of my favorite things to do in magic kingdom especially is just to sit down on main street outside main street bakery sit there with a nice refreshing starbucks cake or you know a little treat and then just watch the people go by just sit there people watching you know and sometimes a trolley show will even even come past so watch the trolley show chilling out good times Anyway, I hope this video didn't seem too ranty or too rah, but I think it is important to have kind of know what not to do before you go on a trip because it is just the main thing, just be courteous to other guests, be courteous to the cast members, but don't think your holiday is above someone else's holiday, if that makes sense. Get off your high horse, basically. I'm not saying you're on your high horse, but you know, that's the end of that video. As I said, I hope this didn't seem too ranty. So like, comment, subscribe, all of that jazz. And also I'd like to comment down below with any of your Disney don'ts. So anything that you think shouldn't be done in the parks, that kind of thing. Don't be too horrible though. Okay, bye. Oh, I've got a pen in my hand though. Bye.